Yeah. What would happen if Speed of Light was really useful? Then, then we would be very like weird. Well, wouldn't um, it be, wait, wouldn't it be very different with the sun, would it? Because... Like this we like just see. We'll talk about all this theoreticals oh, later. All right. So first of all, we have with your wave drawings, you have determined how to figure out your frequency, your wavelength, and your period. With the pendulum lab, you determine that which variable actually affected the period. Gravity. Uh, I know. Which of your variables period. affected the period? Oh, wait. Length and string. Variable. The length of your string. Right? The other variables didn't do anything. The mass didn't affect your pendulum, and your distance from, pl from plumb did not affect your period. It was only the length of your string. Which makes sense, which if you think about when you were drawing your waves, right? your wavelength, the longer the wavelength, the longer time it takes to travel, right? Just makes sense. So those are directly proportional. Well, we have not talked about speed yet. And when I talk about light, that means anything on the EM spectrum. That, that is all inclusive. That's everything from gamma waves to radio waves are all categorized as light, okay, for our intense purposes. So Another thing to point out that whenever we talk about the speed of light, we're talking about the speed of light in a vacuum. Where the light, when it hits, when it travels through a vacuum, you would get a straight line. What's a vacuum? What is a vacuum? Like a vacuum cleaner? Like a vacuum cleaner? No, 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 vacuum cleaner, like space. Oh. Not necessarily airtight, but a place devoid of all matter. Okay? So where there's no air, and there's no other particles in that space. Okay? So it would have zero density. There's no material in that. There's no matter in that space. However, the same light were to hit the water, what's going to happen? Is it going to reflect? Part of it actually will reflect. But what else is going to happen? Same thing, straight up. Disperse, there'll be a little bit of dispersion, that's true. But also, it's going to refract. That's right, which is just a fancy word for bending. Okay? Now, why does this light bend? What do you think? Okay, the water changes where it goes. How? The density of the water. Okay, the density of the water. That's the density of water. What does the density of water do to the light? No, it doesn't move it. Well, let me ask you this. Have you guys ever tried to run underwater? Yes. 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 So, what does it do, Megan? It slows it down. Just like when you, if you ever want to try to do the cool, if you've ever been to the, the beach, Right, try to do the cool run into the water. Yeah. Right, you go on full speed and you hit the water. What happens? You're like, slow down. <laughs> yeah, you slow down fast. And if you're going too fast, and you're like, look, you face plant. Right. Well, the same thing happens to the light here. Right, when we hit the water, the water is a lot denser. Okay, and it slows down. Now, it slows down just a little bit. Right, but it does slow down and it bends right, as a result. So, 
when we are talking about these waves, we're talking about them moving in a vacuum. Okay, we'll talk about traveling through different other mediums later, but in all of our examples, we're going to say that all these light waves travel at the speed of light, which is 3.00 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. And that's a constant. Is that why at the, like, the bottom of the pool, so you see like, all the light that's kind of like, uh, like waving on the bottom? Shimmering? Yeah. Refraction. Yep. And we'll talk more about refraction and reflection when we get into our light unit. Our symbol for speed of light is C. Where have you seen that before? So. Is there a famous equation? E equals mc squared. So energy equals mass times speed of light squared. So we are going to assume that our waves are traveling at this velocity. Okay? Unless otherwise specified. How can you measure the speed of light? Is it, how did they figure out? Um, that is Einstein's, basically with a lot of math, is the short answer to that. But we have it simplified to the velocity equals, what is this, what's F? Frequency times wavelength, okay? So with, and what can we substitute V for? C, yeah, speed of light, okay? So in a vacuum, this is C equals frequency times wavelength. Now, how fast is the speed of light? Really fast. Okay? So fast it's hard to comprehend a three with eight zeros meters per second. So that's what is that, thirty billion? Or is that thirty million? Six zeros? Or six zeros? So that's 30 million meters per second, um, which is fast enough to ground, go around the Earth seven and a half times in one second. So 1,001, you just went around the Earth seven and a half times. 1,002, you just went around the Earth seven and a half times again. Okay, it is so fast. That's why when you turn on the lights, you're not watching the light go down to the floor. Right? So cool. Did you do that? Like, are they like screaming? They still. There's nothing fast enough to slow down and capture that. I mean, we can slow down, you know, the motion capture or speed up. Right, like whenever we see the flower bloom or whatever, or slow it down, like watch a bullet hit a water balloon, That's slow motion. Still, that is so fast that we cannot slow it down to see light actually travel. Isn't it like the, the light we see from the stars, like the result? Yes. Like we don't know what's going on. That's right. So, like the sun, the light we see from the sun is eight minutes. Some could have died like seven minutes ago. Yeah, wouldn't have known. That's right. Uh, those stars that are really far away, we're actually seeing those stars hundreds of years ago, if not thousands of years ago. Because it's taken, they're so far away, and even though the speed of light is so fast, it has taken hundreds of years for that light being traveled from that star to our eyeball. So it could be gone. Could be gone. There could be no stars left. Yeah, the star that you look at. <laughs> yeah, and a huge shockwave is coming our way and destroy us. 
All right, so let's do some three practice problems. So anytime that you're given one of these problems, you'll need to be given either wavelength or frequency, okay, as one of your variables. What was our equation again? Uh, v equals uh, v. Okay, so if we put that into an equation, triangle, Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down there. Okay, what would our triangle look like? V, F, and then our lambda. And we wrote these on page one, right? What can velocity be? If we're in a vacuum, C. What do you want to know? Times ten to the eight. It's a terrible eight meters per second. I think that just made it worse. Okay, so that's our equation triangle. So. For given this problem, what? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the wavelength of an X-ray is 4.32 times 10 to the negative 11 meters. What is its frequency? So, what are you given? Wavelength. The wavelength. Now, I'm not going to require you doing rectangle powers on these practice problems, but every other problem that you'll do, I will require rectangle power. But in the time of, or in the interest of saving time, let's work this out. So we're given wavelength. Um, and what are we looking for? Okay, so what is our equation going to be that we're going to use? What are we looking for? Frequency. So F equals. F equals the lock. So frequency equals velocity, which in this case we're using speed of light, right? Divided by our wavelength given this problem. So everyone have your calculator out? Yep. So you can calculate this. What is our unit? Hertz. It's S negative one would also be acceptable. Right? We agree with that. Make sure everyone gets that. If you have the blue calculator and you're getting the wrong exponent, you need to put this the bottom number in parentheses. Okay. Questions on that? No. Try another? Good, good. Ultraviolet radiation from the sun has a frequency of 2.49 times 10 to the 16 hertz. What is the wavelength? Set this up the same way.
So what is our equation that we're going to use? What are we looking for? So lambda equals yeah. C divided by frequency. Once again, we plug in our numbers. What do we get? Victor, what'd you get? One eye. Oh, terrible. Jake, what'd you get? Uh, I don't know. Why not? <laughs> oh, gosh. What are the chances I keep on asking people without the calculators? Khalil, <laughs> please help us out. Uh, I got negative uh, 17 times 10. <laughs> Anyone agree with that? No. Oh. no. Grant, what do we get? A lot of Do you have a calculator? Yeah, I do have a calculator. You want to plug it in? That's more embarrassing. Lazy, but we'll wait. We'll wait. Yeah, we'll wait on you because I want your answer. I heard you came up with the best answers. No, I didn't. Yeah. So you got a hundred on his head. We're really on the yes. Uh, <laughs> it's only eight forty. We got plenty of time. What am I thinking? Five minutes. I was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> 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 yeah, that would be good. Yeah. Oh, I didn't. I mean, public. <laughs> <laughs> How do you do as one? What unit do I put? I don't know what unit. What are we looking for? Wave length. Okay. A length? Yeah. Length is always a. Uh, I got it. One, point, zero, two, five. Ten to the. Eight. Eight. You agree with that? Nope. No? Eight. Well, that's the whole point of doing these practice problems to figure out what you did wrong and practice with your calculator. So you get the right answer. <laughs> One point two out of ten negative eight meters. If you did not get that, plug it back in. And make sure you get the right answer, guys. Put it in parentheses. Yes, let's just do both. Put everything in parentheses. That way. The whole point is to figure this out now. On the test, you don't have calculator error. That's just throwing away points. You know how to do it, but why get your calculator wrong? What? You get the same thing? You guys are not using carrots and tens, are you? No. What's the Good. Did that go up this time? Please, please. Uh, I shut it on my door. I was shutting it, and then I was like, I'm going to turn off my light, and then I was like, 
Is this a type? Do I have a type in Is it O2? Is it O2? Yeah, is that mine right? Just make sure you put in your calculator right. All right, let's try this one for many time. What equation do you use? What? Speed equals something Velocity equals That's what I said. He said velocity equals uh frequency times wavelength. And clear what you get as an answer. Um well right now. Uh he's not I don't have property. So is this traveling through a vacuum? No. Why did you say no? That's all right. That's right, because this does not equal our constant speed of light. So it is not traveling through that.